Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at a wave pattern short on the Russell. Just got filled. Let me get my stop in place here. Get my first target down here, 34.8. Final target's going to be a little bit farther away, down here at 32.2. We'll go a tick ahead of that, 32.3 for now, uh, and we'll kind of see how that lasts down there. So the overall trade itself, uh, it's, it's looking relatively nice. The one thing that we have to consider, though, is if we look at the long-term trends, we're bullish in the long term. So a short-term trade, uh, or a short trade, rather, in the short term, um, is going to be a little bit of higher risk. Uh, and because of that, you know, we're looking at four contracts. Our risk is only 10 ticks, so we're not risking a whole lot in the trade. Uh, 37.1 to a stop at 38.1, so that's kind of nice. Um, but overall, keep that in mind because the short trade with the long-term trends being bullish, it does make it a little bit more difficult. So it wouldn't be a surprise to maybe see this come down, hit that first target maybe a little bit before and come back up again. Uh, as long as we stay below this high, uh, if it does come back up here, you could reload again and then just go back down. But as long as we stay below this high, right here we should still be good to the downside it just keep in mind it might be a little bit shaky uh, because the long term is bullish so you know a lot more waviness uh, to the markets overall so at the moment right now we're sitting short at 37.1 looking for our first target down here at 34.8 Get that drawn up there. That'll be 23 ticks. And then looking for the final target down here at 32.3. And that will give us 48 ticks on the runner. Now, remember, we're short four, so we'll be taking three off at 23. Uh, so three at 23 is 69 plus another 48. If we get all the targets filled in this one, it'll be 117 ticks. Uh, so nice, nice uh, spot to be in, that's for sure. So short from 37.1, just kind of waiting. It's early, early in the morning here on the Russell. Uh, it's only 820 gold just opened up. So I'm anticipating this to be a relatively slow move. There's no news on the docket at 830, really. Um, so it's, you know, this may take a little while. This might take until, you know, 930 for the open. Um, so we'll see. Uh, we'll probably be back in a little while here. I'll hopefully get this target down here year filled and then we'll go from there so i'll be back in a little bit and we'll see how we do all right, just wanted to do a quick update. We've been sitting in this one for about 10 minutes now, and we came down and pushed lower almost into our target. We got a low of 35.2, but now we're pulling back a little bit, and this is kind of what we were looking for. If we come up into this area again and get another reversal bar short, that could be another entry uh, to add on more contracts in this one. Uh, that's if you're obviously a little bit more aggressive because, again, the long term is a little bit bullish. Uh, but I just wanted to do a quick update here just so everyone kind of knows what's going on. Uh, you could even place just a blind limit here at 37 point one and just enter in that way uh, if you miss this first one because it was relatively early I mean 820 or so uh, kind of early to get into a trade for the Russell now we're coming back it's 830 now uh, it's perfect getting a little bit more volume in here, but still seeing it pretty slow. Uh, if we do come up into 37.1, even into the 37.3 to 38.1, as long as we don't break this high here at 38, we should be sitting good. Uh, you know, if you get another reversal bar, you could hop in short with an extra uh, little lot of contracts and uh, see if you can get a little extra out of it. But I just wanted to do a quick update. We'll be back in a little while and hopefully we'll get another drop lower. All right, just a follow-up update here. Uh, we came back into this area here. This is the area that you'd be getting short again if you wanted to add more contracts. You'd be looking short at 36.9. So let's place another sell stop limit here. We'll go in 36.9 and just looking for a continuation back to the downside again. Uh, now it actually just skipped our order. Let's see if it can actually get us filled here. Uh, if it does get us filled, then we'll be looking to place our order, uh, our stop just above this high now, since this is the next entry order, and we'll be looking to basically double up our targets down here. So that's if we get filled here, uh, just kind of seeing some, again, slowness in the market. It skipped our sell stop, uh, and because we're using a sell limit, it didn't actually fill us. So just need to see this come back and fill 36.9. Okay, there we go. Now we're short eight contracts. Let's stack our stops together, and we'll go above there. We'll max our targets here back to 34.8, and we'll combine the two at the lows here. So now we're short eight contracts uh, with basically a median price. We got short uh, 37.1. We took four contracts. So let's open the calculator here. We got 37.1 times four is 148.4, 148.4. The other one, uh, we got filled in a couple different areas, actually, kind of a funky little fill there. Uh, but they're all, oh, I'm sorry, I was combining this one, 36.9. So 11, 36.9 times 4, 147.6 average, uh, 147.6. And then we'll just combine these to kind of figure out what the average fill price is. So again, 37.1 times 4 minus 
147.6. So it's an eight tick variance there. Uh, you figure split it in half, we'll go four. So you're looking at between about 37 or so uh, is where our average fill is. Uh, now because of that, we need to adjust our targets a little bit here, but keeping in mind first in, first out gives us a slightly different profit target. We've got four off here now, so we'll just combine these. Uh, 36.9 will come down to here. That'll be 21. And then we've got another down here to the final target at 46. So two tick difference there, but if we get this trade to really fall lower now, uh, now we're sitting on an absolutely massive, massive entry here. Uh, we're short eight contracts, yeah, but our overall stop, 37 to 37.9, we're only risking nine ticks. So our risk is really, really small, which is exactly where I wanted to be. Uh, so if we do get that filled, we'll be taking 21 off at three. We'll be taking 23 off at three. We'll also be taking 48 and 46. So you're sitting on 226 ticks if we can drop from here. Uh, that'll be an absolutely monster trade. So uh, again, we're still early in the morning. It's not even nine o'clock yet. This may take a little bit more time to fall lower, but now we're in a full position here, double lot uh, to the downside, looking first target at 34.8, second one at 32.3. So we'll be back in a little bit and we'll see how we turn out. All right, we're getting a nice push down here from the sellers again, uh, sitting up 19. Just need a little bit more continuation to get this target here at 34.8 filled. Uh, let's see if they can do it here. Uh, again, we got in short again, a uh, double entry short here at 37. We've been sitting on this one for quite a while now, and we kind of expected that. We're looking at a 40-minute trade now uh, already, but luckily we're coming into the open in about a half hour, so maybe we'll get some movement here. Uh, beautiful. So we got that first target filled, took six off there. Remember, we went double lot short here. So I'm going to move my stop to break even, 36.9. Uh, we took all of our contracts off at 34.8. Now we're just looking for that final runner to the lows here at 32.3. Uh, we do have to get through this low here at 34, but our stop is at least at break even, and we're sitting up on a really nice profit overall. Uh, so now we're testing, and okay, so we're getting some legs here to the downside from the sellers. Uh, they might make this all in one shot here. Uh, so pushing down, we came, I mean, we're still a ways away here. It came about five ticks away from our target. So we'll give this some room to kind of bounce around here, but look Looking for our final target at 32.3, and uh, we'll see if they can push down all in one move here. Otherwise, if they do pull back, our stop is already a break even. Uh, if, we'll, if we do have to lock in, uh, then we'll lock in where we can. But otherwise, uh, looking for our final target at 32.3. All right, pushing back down into those lows, I'm going to lock my stop in. As soon as we hit that 32.8, there we go, lock my stop in. And that didn't even need to. Got our final target filled. Man, oh man, what a trade. Uh, holy cow. <laughs> those are the kind of trades that you love to see. You could have even added again uh, right here with just uh, one of those simple wave patterns. Uh, would have been another entry short to add even more contracts on there. We already maxed out with eight contracts, so that's fine. Uh, we don't need to worry about adding again. But overall, just a picture-perfect trade. Even if you were late to the party, they gave you another opportunity to hop in when they pulled back here. We just doubled down uh, and hopped in again because the risk was so small. But overall, I mean, sure can't argue with that one. We're sitting up 226 six ticks, $2,260 before the index is even open. <laughs> it's only 913 right now. So we're sitting in just a beautiful position uh, and overall just a picture perfect trade. That's exactly what we'd love to see uh, when you've got these test drop down uh, because it didn't hit that first target. It made us a little nervous, but when we got another reversal back down again, just a, just a gorgeous signal. So yeah, that's going to be the trade for today. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, We'll catch you next time.